Yo, what is going on? Thank you so much for joining in. So today, we are gonna look inside of a box. A box full of books and mystery that I have no idea what's inside. But apparently it's gonna be 10 pounds worth of science fiction and fantasy books, but really I have no idea. It could be a box of rocks. It don't sound like it, but maybe it is. So let's open it up and figure out what we got. All right, so the box is supposed to have 10 pounds worth of books in here from both the science fiction and fantasy genre, from a range of different authors as well, and maybe potentially some rare books too. So not sure what that really means besides it maybe being uncommon. That'd be kind of cool if we got one of those. So what I'm gonna do is actually get the books out of here, figure out what it is, look it up online and also see what the value is and compare it all at the very end to see what the box is actually worth as well as what we got inside so let's open it up mm. all right i just opened it up and right off the bat we have a lot packed into this thing oh, look at that this box is filled to the brim of books so let's see what we got inside this thing and also i weighed this box myself just to see you know is it actually 10 pounds it came out to 12, so I got two extra pounds of books. It is kind of weird though to think about books in poundage. Usually you think of just the number of books or the quantity, not in terms of pounds, but apparently this is what 12 pounds of books looks like. So first one I'm gonna pull out here is, we got some Game of Thrones going on. We got the, looks like the mass paperback edition of it. Looks like it was definitely used, so someone read the great story found within this one. Yeah, this is book number four. Actually, this is the last one that I actually read so far in the series, so. And like overall, I mean, we do have some stains here. It is used, but the words look fine in the book, so you can still read it. It's still legible. And it has that old book smell, which smells pretty good. All right, so looking at eBay here, it looks like it's ranging around $4 to $6, around that range, so. I'm just gonna say five dollars to be on the safe side. So, so far, five bucks in value. All right, book number two, let's see what we get. Brian Jacquees, Jacquees, what does that say? Tag, Tadrun, Tadrung. This looks very interesting. Is that a, what is that? Is that an otter in the front holding a knife? It looks like a freaking otter pirate, so that's kind of cool. I have no idea what this one is all about but it looks very interesting. I have not heard of this book before or this author. Oh wow, this is the 14th novel of the Red Wall epic. Let me know if you've ever read this one before because uh, that is quite interesting. All right, so on eBay, it's looking like it's around $4, $5 in that area. So I'm just gonna say $5 for now. And by the way, the quality is not too bad. I mean, we have a little bit of a of a cut here. Aww. Besides that, I mean, it looks like it's in pretty decent quality. And before we dive into book number three, let's get a word from our sponsor. Oh, it's me. So if you guys like what you're watching, please consider subscribing as it would help me out a ton. Thank you so much. Now, let's get back to the video. All right, so book number three, let's dive into it. Looks like it's another hardcover. All right, so this is... A Beautiful Friendship by David Weber. And interestingly, I just finished a David Weber book like a week ago called On Basilisk Station, which was phenomenal, by the way. So I don't know if this is a part of the same universe or not, but we already have a price right here. Two buckaroos. So this looks like it's in the YA genre. And this cover is also pretty interesting. It looks like we have a strange looking tree cat here, which is actually kind of similar to On Basilisk Station because that cover also had a cat on it, so I think David Weber has a thing for cats. And this looks like it's a either a standalone or at least book one in an ongoing series. So let's check it out online to see what it's trending at at the moment. So online, it's looking around $5 as well, even though this sticker says $2, but, but I'm gonna say $5, bringing our total value to 15 bucks so far. All right, book number four is going to be a paperback of Outlander. This looks like the mass paperback edition, and I actually have not read this series, but I do watch the show 
and I think this show is amazing. So I always did want to get into the book series as well. So, so far, it's been a pretty good mix of, you know, fantasy, kind of sci-fi-ish, with sci-fi over here, and then fantasy of Game of Thrones, and then of course, the fantasy otter. Yar! And looking this one up online, it's looking like it's around the $4 range, so I'm just gonna put four bucks for now, bringing our total value to $19 so far. All right, book number five, let's see what we got in here. We have a book called Bad Moon Rising. Not Red Rising, Bad Moon Rising. Does this kind of look like the Stormlight Archives emblem? Kind of does to me. Looks like we got a picture of the author in the back. I have not heard of this book before, or the author. A stunning and suspenseful new landscape emerges in the thrilling dark hunter world. A world where nothing will ever be the same again. Alright, looks like we got some wolf action going on in this book with our main character's first name being Fang. So, looking at this one online, looks like the value, at least for the hardcover edition, is sitting around $9 which is our most valuable book yet, which is pretty cool, bringing our total value up to $28 so far. All right, book number six, let's see what we got. Another hardcover edition. All right, so this one looks like, whoa. So this one looks pretty spicy, called Mistral's Kiss by Laurel K. Hamilton. So, yeah, very interesting looking cover. Looks like we got a Harry Potter inspired lightning bolt tattoo right here. Never! So reading the first couple sentences here, it's kind of interesting. I am Princess Meredith, heir to a throne of Fairy. My day job, once upon a time, was a private detective in Los Angeles. Unfortunately, Princess has now become a full-time occupation. All right, so that is pretty interesting. So let's see what this one's going at online. All right, it looks like Mistral's Kiss is going around $5 at the moment. So pretty common trend so far with the books that we're getting. Bringing our total value to $33 so far. And we have a few more books in here. It looks like we have at least two more. So let's see what this one is. Book number seven. So seven books so far packed in this thing. We have another Game of Thrones book. This one is a little bit beat up, which means it was just read more, right? With this being book number two in the Song of Ice and Fire. So this one is a little bit beat up. It is the mass paperback edition. You know, brand new, apparently, it's selling at $7.99. I don't think we can get that much for this copy uh, especially, but pretty cool that we have another Game of Thrones book. So online, this does look like a older version of the book with this cover being a little bit different than what you see today. It is going around five bucks at the moment, but since this edition is a little bit beat up, I'm just gonna say two dollars. All right, book number eight. It feels like a chunky one. It definitely is, and it's a little bit dirty too, but that is gonna be Drums of Autumn. And this looks like it's another book in the Outlander series. So now we have you know, two books from Game of Thrones, and now two books from the Outlander series. And this is a hardcover edition too. It's pretty dang thick. It's close to 900 pages, so I think this is book number four in the series, if I'm not mistaken. So online, I'm definitely seeing a few different ranges of the price. I see some here for 26. I see some for 20. I see some for 10. At least for the hardcover edition, I'm seeing a big range of prices here. I see one that's $5. I see one that's $30. This might be our rare book in the mystery box. Even though it's a little bit dirty, that just looks like a little bit of dirt, you know? I'm just gonna wipe it off and you're good. The quality overall is pretty good. The front cover doesn't look too beat up. It still has a nice little glisten to it. The words inside are still there, so that's a good sign. So for this one, I'm gonna say, just to be on the safe side, $15. Bringing our total to $50 so far in value if I were to sell the books individually and if they were to actually sell. There we have it. We got eight books here out of our box. The box itself, it costed $36 to get shipped to my house off of eBay. So $50 value is pretty dang good for, for a random box of books. I had no idea what was going to be inside. So overall, pretty dang cool, and a lot of authors I haven't heard of either. So out of all the eight books that I got, I would want to keep definitely two of them, maybe three, with those being uh, A Beautiful Friendship by David Weber. This one only because I just finished a book 
by Mr. Weber and it was fantastic. One of my top reads of the year. And this is a YA entry into his Honor Harrington series. So this is definitely one that I'd want to check out. And book number two that I want to keep would definitely be Drums of Autumn. So this is book number four in the Outlander series again. And with this being a series that I want to eventually read, I think I'm gonna keep this one for sure. And book number three that I definitely have to keep is Mistral's Kiss. Cause I gotta figure out what's gonna go on with this private detective princess. So overall, a box valued at 50 bucks from a purchase of $36 with two books I definitely wanna keep. Not a bad deal. And if this video gets 20 likes, I'll do another mystery box opening. So go ahead and click that like button. Thanks again so much for joining in. I hope you had a good one. And for staying around this long, you've earned one XP token. And if you're already a subscriber, you get an extra XP token. So here you go. And again, thank you so much. Have a good one. Peace.